Welcome back to the Fiverr Beginner Series. In the last video, we created your Fiverr account and set everything up with the right location and tools. Now, it's time to take the next important step, becoming a seller and properly setting up your Fiverr profile. Your profile is the first thing clients will see. If it looks weak or incomplete, you might lose jobs before you even start. So in this video, I'll walk you step by step through how to switch to a seller account and build a professional profile that attracts buyers. And yes, we'll be using AI tools like ChatGPT and ImageFX to help make this setup smarter and more effective. Let's begin. Click on your profile icon at the top right of your Fiverr dashboard. Then you'll see an option that says, become a seller. Click on it. Now you'll see a page that says, ready to start selling on Fiverr. Click continue. On the next page titled, what makes a successful Fiverr profile? Click continue again. You'll see one more page. Click continue again, and you'll be taken to the profile setup screen. This is where you'll start entering your personal information. First is full name. This is required. Enter your actual name. For example, I'll use John Smith. Next is the display name. This is what other people will see publicly. Fiverr will automatically suggest one based on your full name, like John S. You can leave it like that or choose something professional, like your brand name. Then comes the profile picture. You can upload any image here, but make sure it looks professional. You can use your real photo or your logo. Since this Fiverr account is only for this tutorial and not a real personal account, I won't use my own photo. Instead, I'll use an AI generated profile picture. And at the end of this Fiverr series, I'll give this fully set up account to one lucky subscriber, completely free. Now to generate the profile picture using AI, I'll first go to ChatGPT and type this prompt. I just registered on Fiverr. I need a realistic profile picture. Can you suggest an image prompt I can use? Now listen to what ChatGPT suggested. A realistic, high resolution portrait of a young professional, smiling naturally, making direct eye contact with the camera. Clean background, light gray or soft gradient, well lit with soft lighting, wearing business casual attire, e.g. a plain shirt or smart top. Neutral facial expression, confident and friendly, studio setting, realistic skin texture, photographic style. I'll copy that and paste it into ImageFX, which is an AI image generator. In ImageFX, select realistic, high contrast, high detail, and set the aspect ratio to square. Then click create and wait for the image to be generated. Once the images are ready, I'll pick one that looks clean and professional. Then I'll go back to Fiverr and upload the image. Important note, do not use someone else's photo. Either use your real photo, your logo, or generate a realistic image using AI. Never steal or fake identities. Everything we're doing here is still within Fiverr's guidelines. Now, as you can see, our profile is already starting to look good. The next field is profile description. To write this, I'll go back to ChatGPT and enter this prompt. My name is John Smith from the United States. I want you to write me a professional Fiverr profile description for website design and digital marketing, not more than 600 characters. Now listen to what ChatGPT says. I'll copy that and paste it into the profile description box on Fiverr. After that, you'll see languages. I'll select English and set the level to fluent. If you speak any other languages, like Chinese or French, you can add them here as well. Click continue to move to the next section, professional info. This is where clients learn what you do best and how you gained your skills. First, fill in your occupation. Click the box and choose the category that matches your skill. For me, I'll pick programming and tech from 2021 to 2024. Once you've selected your occupation, Fiverr will now ask you to choose two to five specific skills related to that category. Since I selected programming and tech, I'll choose the following from the list. Online coding lessons, mobile apps, web programming, website development, website maintenance. Make sure the skills you pick are actually related to your services. Fiverr uses these skills to help recommend your gig to buyers. Don't just tick random ones after that. Now we move to the skills section. This is where you add custom or detailed skills related to your service. 
Click Add New, then search or type your skill. For this tutorial, I'll add Website Editing, Expert Wix Website Design, Expert. WordPress Expert. Make sure you set all skills to expert level. Even if you're still learning, always show confidence because clients are more likely to hire someone who sounds like they know what they're doing. Once done, you'll see your skills listed clearly with their levels. If needed, you can always click Add New to enter more. After that, move on to Education. Set your education country based on the country you selected for your profile. Then enter the name of the university or college. Add your degree title, your major, and the year you graduated. Now let's add certifications. You can search online for free certificate programs related to your skill, like graphic design, SEO, or digital marketing. Add the name of the certificate, who issued it, like Coursera, Google, or LinkedIn, and the year. Next is personal website. If you have one, enter the link. If you don't, leave it blank and click continue. You should now be taken to the account security page. Your profile completion should show around 80% at this stage. To reach 100%, you'll need to verify your phone number. Now, because we're using a US Fiverr account, you'll need a US phone number to verify it. There are two options. Option one, use a website like textverified.com. Sign up, fund your wallet, and purchase a number for Fiverr verification. Option two, buy a verified US number from someone who sells them. Just tell them you need the number specifically for Fiverr SMS verification. Once you have the number, click add phone number on Fiverr. Enter the number, then click verify by SMS. You'll receive a four digit code. Enter that code and click submit code. Now Fiverr will ask you to set a security question. Choose any question and provide an answer, but make sure to write it down somewhere safe. Don't use something you might forget because you'll need it if you ever try to change or recover your account. After submitting, Fiverr will show a message saying verification complete. Click finish. And just like that, your Fiverr profile setup is done. In the next video, I'll show you how to create stunning Fiverr gigs including how to write your gig title, description, create your gig image, set your pricing, and more. So stay tuned, we're about to launch your first offer and go live on Fiverr.